Hello YouTubers, welcome to Aki's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a very English recipe and probably you will ask me, you are not English made, you are a Greek. Uh, that's true, but I used to work in England for more than five years in good restaurants, so I came up with the best recipe for fish and chips. This is the best. The only thing that I want for you is just give it a try and I will prove it to you. Now, the secret success uh, of fish and chips is in the butter. If you use only beer, it will become very heavy. If you use only water, it will become very light, like tempura. So I'm using both water and beer. Now, for the yeast. Uh, the yeast will give actually a very good taste to the butter. Uh, but if you don't have time to, be, uh, to wait the, uh, the butter to rise and foam, you can uh, use instead baking powder, one and a half tablespoonful is enough and you can use the butter immediately. Let's begin. In a bowl, add 500 ml of water at room temperature, 330 ml of beer at room temperature, two packets of active dry yeast, two generous pinches of sugar and whisk to combine. Set it aside for 15 minutes and then add 500 grams of all-purpose flour a pinch of salt and whisk until you have a completely combined mixer that is smooth with no lumps. Cover the bowl with plastic wrap and set it aside at room temperature for one to two hours until it doubles in size, just like this. I have one and a half kilos of cold fillet, bones removed. Pat your fish dry with some paper towels. Cut your fish into bite-sized pieces, keeping them as similar in size as possible. Put some flour in a container, season with salt and pepper, and mix. Dredge each piece of fish in the flour mixer. And shake off any excess flour. It's very important to coat the fish with flour because this way the butter will really stick to the fish. I already heated my oil here to 180 degrees Celsius and it's time to fry some fish. Dip into the frying butter to coat completely and let excess butter drip off. Into the pan they go, but do not drop the fish into the hot oil abruptly. Dip half of the piece into the oil Gently move it around in the oil and as soon as the butter puffs up a little, gently release the other half into the oil. Remove any small bits of butter from the oil so they don't burn. When it's crunchy and golden from one side, turn over and let it become crunchy and golden on the other side too. Look at this. And you see that? So puffy and so crunchy at the same time. At this point, you have to stay close to the pan. Don't do other things. You have one mission, to cook perfect the fish. Don't overcook it, don't undercook it. We need a nice golden color like this. When ready, transfer the fish with the spider onto paper towel. Perfecto! And it's time to serve these bad boys. The traditional way we serve uh, the fish and chips in Greece is with garlic mass, and I will show you. In Greece, we serve cotton chips just with garlic mass and olive oil. In England, we serve cotton chips, of course, with chips, tartar sauce, and massy peas. Look at how nicely cooked and golden they are. Crunchy on the outside and soft and completely cooked through on the inside. So good! Your kids will never say no to fish again. This is by far the best 
butter for fish and chips. Uh, you can see all the condiments like tartar sauce, mussy peas, garlic mass, uh, the chips at the end of this video. I will have more videos for you. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Please let me know your feelings about this uh, amazing recipe. Um, I have to admit that it's so crunchy, but it's not oily at the same time. And this is very important. Thank you for watching me. See you next time. Bye bye. Yasas.